Installing your motherboard starts by installing its IO shield. It protects your motherboard's peripherals and as you can see it's quite easy to pop it into place. No screws are needed, just make sure it is firmly secured onto the case. High-end cases usually come with screw razors, the ones I'm pointing out right now. It is going to help us position the motherboard so that its peripherals actually meet and match perfectly the IO shield. Before replacing the motherboard onto the screw razors, try to align the motherboard's peripherals with IO shield first. And then gently rest the motherboard onto the screw razors. They should match and align perfectly with the motherboard holes. And all is left now is to screw in the motherboard onto the case. CPUs in general are a little bit more delicate than the other components in your build. Try not to touch directly the CPU holder and as much as possible only uh, manipulate your CPU by holding it on its side as I'm doing right now. Alright, so now gently let's put the CPU in place into the CPU holder. You will notice that the small triangle on the CPU and the larger one on the motherboard perfectly align. Additionally, on the back of your CPU you will find two little notches which will match perfectly with the CPU holder. Time now to secure our CPU onto the motherboard. RAM slots on this motherboard are divided into channels A1B1 and A2B2. We are going to install our RAM modules in a single channel configuration. Therefore, we are going to go for the A2B2 channel. A notch on your memory stick will ensure that you are placing it correctly on the motherboard. Slide in the memory stick in its slot and then slightly press on the right, then on the left. The same operation follows for the second memory stick. Pay attention to the notch on your memory stick, slide it in and with a soft pressure on the right and then on the left, your memory stick will lock right in place. And finally comes the installation of our M.2 solid state drive. And first we have to remove the thermo shield, which gives place to the M.2 connector. As you can see, this type of motherboard can accommodate more than one size. A screw razor is provided by your motherboard manufacturer to secure your M.2 solid state drive onto the motherboard. After gently placing the M.2 solid state drive into its connector, secure it in place with a 2mm screw. 